Hello, hello, hello. Just checking in really briefly to give just some encouragement to all of the entrepreneurs, aspiring entrepreneurs. Um, one of the things that's important if you want to be successful in your business is to do something towards your business every day. Even if it's small, make a commitment to yourself and your business to do something every single day. This is a sure way to basically make progress in your business. And it also helps increase your morale, your self-efficacy, uh, which is you get things done. When you're working steadily, you condition yourself. It, you become conditioned to uh, work steadily and also to work hard. But if you just make it a mindset that you must do something every day, if you lose the sense of entitlement, joyous, carefree, laid back life, if you, if you get rid of the sense of entitlement and you put in the work, eventually that will be your life. Uh, the life that you want, one that is uh, filled with fun and uh, low stress, you really just live in life to the fullest, you actually can achieve that kind of life for yourself on a more long-term basis if you put in the work on the front end and make sacrifices on the front end. And it gets a little scary sometimes because you don't know when does it end, like when when is it over? When are you getting close? When are you going to get your breakthrough? But you have to stay the course and you have to hang in there because it's not easy. But you're going to see people around you who are doing things that appear to be fun and living a good life. And you might look at your life and think, wow, well, am I missing out on things because I'm grinding too hard? That's going to be very normal. But I'm telling you, if you really want the financial freedom, I would suggest making the sacrifice on the front end so that you can actually live the type of life that you want on the back end and be very comfortable versus kind of slacking now and prolonging that paycheck to paycheck lifestyle. So just start off just doing something every day, even if it's uh, mental planning or uh, making just one phone call or composing one email, just at least one task each day that you're completing towards your business. And it's a very reasonable goal. Now, I did on YouTube um, a challenge. It was called the 30-Day Boss Up Challenge. And that was me basically tuning in, live streaming every night for 30 days straight. Helping the audience to think of ideas for entrepreneurship and also teaching them um, some of the business fundamentals of how to start a business and how to do a business plan and those type of things. And what I've decided to do is because I have all of that content, I have over 30 videos um, and it has a lot of good information. I'm actually going to download those from YouTube and I'm going to post them on my Facebook page and make those available for free to my uh, Facebook, the Diamond Lab Facebook group. Uh, so basically, I just want to um, be of assistance. I want to check in routinely with everyone and let people know this is what it looks like sometimes. You know, when you're really in business and you're busy, and this is no knock to all of my beautiful um, people that are busy, but yet they still have the time to, you know, put on their face, slay their hair. Um, clean cut, just looking really good. I must say I haven't gotten to that stage yet. I'm still in a stage where 
it requires that I make a lot of sacrifices. So I might not have my eyebrows done. Like for me, this is considered bushy. If I showed you my toes right now, you all would be laughing. And those are the kind of things that when I say sacrifice, I'm talking about those things. So I would rather tune in live with you all, look in a mess with a stretched out t-shirt and, you know, not all done up and give you all the real everyday charity, the charity that's busy, the charity that is oftentimes neglecting herself and just, you know, letting you know what it looks like and that it's okay because we have uh, a tendency to promote on social media um, representations that are not real. And I, I know there are business owners that have gotten to a point where they can look good most of the time and they have time for all of that. But there are a lot of people there they can't do that because they're too busy building their businesses. So it's okay because you can actually still be very successful and make a conscious decision to still work hard towards your business every day so that you can get to the next level. And that's what I'm doing. So uh, just checking in with you guys. want to let you know the Boss Up Challenge is coming soon. They are pre-recorded live stream videos that I'll be re-releasing under the Diamond Lab because I think it's really good information. And even though I didn't do anything fancy with the videos, I didn't like edit them or add in anything. I'm just going to put it out there just how it is. And uh, usually the meat and potatoes of the message is in the first 30 minutes of the video. So you will notice that a lot of the videos are going to be kind of long. But that's because at the end of each 30 minute session, I allow for Q&A, live stream Q&A. So if you're, don't get scared and think that you have to watch the whole video. Most of the content and information that you're going to want is going to be in that first 30 minutes of each video. And of course, if you're still interested and want to watch the rest, you're more than welcome to. So um, stay tuned. I've already released one of my videos. It's not a part of the Boss Up Challenge because um, I actually had done about four or five videos before I did the Boss Up Challenge. So they didn't really count towards day one, day two, day three. But once I start releasing I make sure I put the title in which day that it is so that you can see day one, day two, day three, as it was happening back then. And the boss up challenge, what's interesting about it is that I wasn't just taking a standpoint of like a business coach or someone that's teaching the public. I actually used that opportunity after leaving school as an opportunity to regroup and get a plan for myself so I was actually challenging myself to boss up because I had to make that switch from student to boss again. I had gone from boss to student, then I had to go from student to boss, and that was a, a major shift. So the boss up challenge was for me as well, and I was able to come up with ideas and um, brainstorm while educating the public, and they were right there with me with the process, and I thought that was pretty interesting because after the boss up